hello so this is the lecture 7 put not in this position and the removal of their cause so the first point is that it is not necessary to remove exciting cause first you know because when it's in the process of curing the indisposition or the disordered states get cured spontaneously from like normally from like slowly slowly it can get removed so second point is that sora sora don't like sora people who are sorry they can get indisposition from external causes but external causes don't cause sora upon him like external causes don't make a person sorry actually uh, because of external causes the uh, person can get stomach problems but removal of the external causes might like cure the patient but like when external causes uh, cause problem and after removing of the external causes still the uh, patient is sick then a little dose of medicine could cure the patient so we think that a depression failure and sufferings are cause of the disease but actually they are just the exciting cause of indisposition in the indisposition is actually a disordered state it's like like disease but we don't consider it as a disease because like people think that a, a condition is like taking a group of symptoms from an area like a heart disease and saying it is a disease but people don't realize that not every heart disease is the same you know not every diarrhea is the same like there is a difference between uh, simple diarrhea you know there, not every diarrhea is the same so like if we consider that oh this is diarrhea and this is the cure like this can't be a solution this is wrong so we have our theory we believe that every person has a miasm so now there are poor miasm so it we think that if we remove all the like if like okay wait our theory says that removing of the miasm like it, like if if a person wasn't uh, like wasn't miasmatic then we will have no problems like if if like even if we suffer from business losses we won't like get angry over it we won't have uh, psychological depression things like that so this is our theory but to get pre from miasm it would take eight generation i guess i don't don't remember it was like eight generation of curing a person would lead the next generation for a uh, this miasmatic pre life anyway um even removal <coughs> removal of symptoms is not actually like you know the cure because removal of symptoms should be carried out and then with the process of cure it would like get healed just removal of symptoms doesn't actually mean that a person is cured i hope i wasn't very clear but i think i'll just let it go like good habit like if there there are things like good like people should have a good habit of maintaining their environment like they should keep their room clean not like mine i mean like they should keep uh, their room clean they should live nicely you know eat nicely but even if the person like does all this thing and even if he or she is sick then the person should a physician should check the symptoms symptoms that actually describe the indisposition the disorder in a person so a good physician is good to <laughs> have a good position you know so, but finding a good position is hard that's why this topic is said like the a successful physician is the one who heals for the love of healing you know 
and practice for verifying his knowledge you know he heal for the love of healing he practice for verifying his knowledge you know if a person doesn't isn't like doing his work for like this reason then it is pro he or she is probably not a good position you know a, a person could have all the knowledge of homeopathy like <laughs> that that could a person could have so he he could have all the knowledge even then he could not be a good position you know he could he could like pass this examinations this um board examination i mean job examination but he might not be capable enough of curing a patient that person would only sh only should be regarded as a person who has a uh, great intelligence and way of like catching these things keeping it in mind you know but doing this practically he should have love for doing it if a person doesn't have it then a person can't be said a good position so just because a person is like just because he could pass this test doesn't mean he is a good position so it takes time to learn from it so i hope this this ends the video here so uh, thanks for watching and i would like to say that whatever i am saying doesn't conclude every knowledge that homeopathy has to offer i might be wrong but this is the knowledge that i have and this is all it is so thank you for watching